Councillor Simon Dudley has accused homeless people in Windsor of aggressive begging and intimidation. He wants police to rid the epidemic of rough sleeping before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. CLLR Dudley has even accused some of the homeless people of marching tourists to cash points for money. But rough sleepers have it back and said it is not their choice to be homeless and invited him to meet them. The Windsor Council leader who demanded that homeless people should be moved before the royal wedding has today come under fire as one man struggling to survive on the street said, it's not our choice to be homeless. Simon Dudley said rough sleepers are aggressive and intimidating and wants them to be relocated before Prince Harry and Meghan Markle tie the knot in May. The Conservative councillor even accused the beggars of marching tourists to nearby cash points before demanding money from them. He added that the detritus and bags of homeless people could provide a security risk when the royal couple get married at Windsor Castle. But members of the local community and those living on the streets have today hit back, while charities have branded his comments abhorrent and disappointing. Even Prime Minister Theresa May has criticised his comments and today said that she does not agree with what he said. Homeless people living in Windsor also slammed CLLR Dudley and one, James, 35, told the BBC, he should come out and talk to the homeless and find out what their stories are before he makes those kind of accusations. It is not our choice to be homeless everyone has their own reasons, everyone has their own story. In a series of tweets while he was on a skiing holiday in Wyoming, U.S., CLLR Dudley claimed some homeless people have marched tourists to cash points to withdraw money. But Thames Valley Police refuted his claims and said they deal with begging but have not received reports of homeless people forcing people to withdraw cash. Murphy James, manager of the Windsor Homeless Project, said CLLR Dudley's comments were sickening and said the accommodation offered to homeless people was rat infested. He said, it's abhorrent that anybody has got these views in this day and age, especially a lead councillor of the borough. I went out on Christmas Day and there were 12 people laid out on Windsor High Street. They were not there by choice. It shows he hasn't got a clue. He has quite obviously never walked even an inch in their shoes, Mr James added to the Slough Observer. It is absolutely disgusting he is putting out such an opinion that it is a commercial life choice. Even if they do have homes, there is a reason they are on the streets. In order to beg you have to have the lowest level of self-confidence. Having a key to a front door does not make everything better. The main reason they end up back on the streets is that they are lonely and the only thing they own in life is a sense of community. Mrs May also criticised his comments and said councils need to work hard to ensure they provide accommodation. Speaking during a visit to a hospital in Camberley, Surrey, she said, I don't agree with the comments that the leader of the council has made. I think it is important that councils work hard to ensure that they are providing accommodation for those people who are homeless, and where there are issues of people who are aggressively begging on the streets then it's important that councils work with the police to deal with that aggressive begging. Meanwhile, other homeless people have hit back after CLLR Dudley called for a purge on rough sleepers before the royal wedding. A woman known as Tara was made homeless along with her partner Paul just before Christmas and had been living on the streets of Windsor ever since. She said, it's not fair, all of the world's media has come down for the day. I, 